araw po sa ating lahat. Ako po si Francis Aldrich Reyes, ang inyo pong tagapagsalita ngayong hapon ito. Ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay leadership. Leadership. So, pag-uusapan natin, what is servant leadership? Servant. So, servant muna tayo. A person who performs duties for others. Ito yung, uh, for example, yung uh, from your family, within your family. At ito, may kanya-kanya kayong duties or roles sa bahay. Yun ay servant. Ang leadership naman, the action of leading a group of people or an organization. Yun ay leadership. So, punta tayo sa how to become a servant leader. So, paano nga ba? Paano tayo magiging servant na leader pa at the same time? According to Larry C. Spears, former president of the Robert K. Greenleaf Center for Servant Leadership, meron daw sampu. There are 10 most important characteristics being servant leaders. One is listening. So, listening important being a leader because you serve people better when you make a deep commitment to listening intently to them and understanding what they say. So nakikinig tayo dapat sa mga hinaing ng mga nasasakupan natin kapag tayo ay leader. Mas magandang approachable tayo sa kanila Para nang sa ganun, alam natin ang nangyayari at kailangan ipatupad kung ikaw ay isang leader. Empathy, number two. Servant leader, strive to understand others' people, intentions, and perspective. You can be more empathetic by putting aside your viewpoint. Temporal temporarily viewing others perspective and approaching situations with an open minded it means being servant leaders you need to have empathy so kailangan mong malaman yung uh, yung people's intentions and perspective yung mga perspective nila yung mga kasama mo within the group putting aside ilagay mo yung sarili mo kapag ikaw yung nandoon sa sitwasyon na yun. So, number three, healing. What is healing? The characteristics relates to the emotional health, wholeness of people, and involves supporting them both physically and mentally. So, ayun. Okay. Uh, ano yung sa pagkakaintindi nyo yun, doon sa healing? So, ito daw ay pangkalahatan sa lahat ng tao, sa lahat ng nasasakupan. And involves to support them physically and mentally. Kailangan ikaw ay supportado, support mo sila sa kanilang uh, uh, sa physically na, na tutubunan mo yung kanilang mga hinain, yun nga, and then mentally. Doon yung pumapasok yung emotional so, kailangan maging balance tayo kapag tayo ay leader, isang leader. So, self-awareness. So, ayun po. Self-awareness, isa rin po sa bahagi ng characteristics being servant leader. Self-awareness is the ability to look at yourself, think deeply about your emotions, behavior, and consider how they affect the people around you and align with your values. So, kailangan maging observer din tayo. Observe natin yung sarili natin. 
kailangan hindi natin ipapabayaan ang ating emotion na imbis na tayo ay makatulong sa iba, ay tayo pa pala na magiging ano tayo, uh, baka sila pa ang tumulong sa atin. Sa ating mga behavior, maging observer, observant din tayo sa ating mga pinapakita sa iba. Consider they affect to the people around us. Ibig sabihin, naapektuhan yung ating uh, sa, uh, yung ating pagkilos sa kapwa din natin. So, kahit tayo ay maging self-awareness, maging observer, para yung ating uh, pagiging leader, at ang ating, hindi lang pagiging leader, yung ating pagkatao ay may pakita, may pamaris. Pamarisa ng iba. Kasi tayo ay isang role mother. Dapat tayo tinawag na servant leader. You will become self-aware by knowing your strength and weaknesses. So, kailangan alam mo ang weaknesses mo at yung strength mo. And asking for other people's feedback on them. Also, learn to manage your emotions. Yun nga yung sinasabi ko kanina, uh, you need to balance, you need to manage your emotion, you need to don't give up or don't, uh, pag nakaramdam ka ng agon, pag nakaramdam ka ng uh, bigat, na kung ano yung uh, within the, your organization, no, you need to fight, you need to face this challenge of your life. So, ayan. Number five, punta tayo, persuasion. Servant leaders use persuasion rather than their authority to encourage people to take action. They also aim to build consensus in groups. Ayan. So that everyone supports decision. Persuasion, from the word it's a persuasion, persuading. Kailangan mo maka, makahikayat sa tao ng sinasabi mo. At ang dapat ang sinasabi mo ay totoo para ikaw ay paniwalaan ng ibang tao. Para ikaw ay uh, maging kapanipaniwala at sundin ng mga Uh, kayo yung mag-work as a team na alam mo dapat na tama ang iyong, ang iyong decision making. So, to encourage people to take action para tumulong sa iyo to take action para tumulong sa kung ano yung gusto mong mangyari within the organization, within your society. Yeah. So, conceptualization. So, i-conceptualize natin ano ba talaga yung gusto nyo pag ikaw ba yung leader? Uh, kung ano ba talaga yung uh, your concept kung magiging set up? Ano ba talaga uh, gusto ko ganito uh, maging set up natin ng mga officers, kung ano yung mga role nila kung ano yung mga duties and responsibilities yung mga gagawin kada araw yun yung eco-conceptualize these characteristics relates to your ability to dream, great dreams. So, uh, mag-iisip tayo kung ano ang um, ang gagawin bawat araw. So, that you look beyond day-to-day -day realities to the bigger picture. Kailangan ma-conceptualize mo na siya. So, punta tayo sa number 7. Foresight. So, kailangan is when you predict. Ayan. Kailangan marunong din tayo mag-predict. Uh, can predict what's likely to happen in the future by learning from past experiences, identifying what's happening now, and understanding the consequences of your decision. So, kailangan natin, yun nga, yung sinabi ko na rin kanina, nasabi ko na rin, uh, from the past, natututo tayo kung ano man ang nagiging mali natin, uh, napapagdaanan natin, natututo tayo. They learn in experience. So, uh, kailangan kung ano yung susunod na mangyayari, dapat alam mo na yung magiging consequence noon, yung decision mo, kung anong gagawin yung decision, yun, you try to make a punish decision making. So, uh, yun talaga ang kailangan sa paggagawa ka ng decision making. Not only you, but your groups, your kailangan kasi ng... Uh, Uh, ng ideas para ka makapagawa ng uh, decision para sa inyong 
uh, nasasagupan in the, within the society. So number eight, meron din tayong stewardship. Stewardship. Ayan, yan yung tawag. Stewardship is about taking responsibility for the actions and performance of your team and being accountable for the role team members play in your organization. So, ayun. Uh, yun nga, sinabi ko na rin kanina, uh, stewardship, kailangan merong mga uh, bawat members ng inyong group ay merong mga kanya-kanyang responsibility, hindi lang ano yan. Uh, Kung baga, lahat as a team, as in, uh, mag-work kayo as a team, but kanya-kanya, uh, every, every uh, officers, elected officers, must be, have, uh, must have a responsibility for the, uh, for the actions and performances of your team. Kailangan, so syempre, uh, being accountable, so kailangan uh, mag-work kayo as a team, kailangan uh, yung, kumbaga, isa lang yung inyong layunin. Kumbaga, kasi pag may nagkamali sa inyong uh, members, so syempre, uh, magiging accountable kayo doon, so kung ano man ang mali ng isa, yun din, magiging uh, mali din ng lahat. So, you need to be uh, accountable for what we, for what you are doing. Kasi leader tayo. Servant. We are servant leader in the organization. So, whether you are a formal leader or not, you have a responsibility for the things that happen in your company or in your organization. Take time to think about your own values as well as those of your organization so that you know what you will want and stand for also lead by example by demonstrating the values and behaviors that you want to see in others and have the confidence to stand up to people when they act in a way that is, isn't aligned with them so you know kahit uh, li, uh, leader ka nga ayun, leader ka nga so kailangan alam mo kung, uh, kung saan ka maging example ka sa iba kung ano yung tama what, or what you are doing so kita ng lahat yan so you need to be uh, professional you need to become a professional so ayun number nine commitment to the growth of people so uh, eto na servant leaders are committed to the personal and professional development of everyone on their teams servant leaders are committed to the personal and professional development of to everyone so Siyempre, yun nga sinasabi natin. To develop your people, make sure that you you see training needs assessments to understand their developmental needs and give them the skills they need to do their jobs, to do their work and responsibility effectively. Also, find out what their personal goals and see if you are, can give them projects or additional responsibilities that will help them achieve this. So yun nga, uh, para masigurado natin na maging uh, tama ang ginagawa ng lahat sa buong team, sa buong team nyo, sa organization, kailangan meron kayong sinusunod na mga, uh, kung, kailangan meron kayong mga assessments, seminars, trainings, ayan. So doon nyo napapractice for more efficient para ma 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 uh, magawa nyo yung tama ang iyong ang uh, inyong mga gawain sa paaralan man o sa iba't ibang uh, society or or any organization yeah. so building community <coughs> the last characteristics <coughs> is to do with building a sense of community within your organization you can do this by providing opportunities for people to interact with another across to company. For, in, for instance, you could organize social events such as team lunches and barbecues. Design your workspace and to encourage the people to chat informally away from their desk and dedicate the first few minutes of meetings to non-work related conversations 
So, yun nga, sinasabi nga to encourage people from the work. Encourage people to take responsibility for their work. And remind them how what they do contributes to the success and overall objectives of the organization. So, yun. And being a leader, you build uh, you build a relationship to your fellow members. Hindi lang sa ano, sa trabaho, sa work or responsibility. You need to build a relationship with your ano, with your whole with your whole organization, with the whole organizations. So, uh, servant leader. As a servant leader, you're a servant first. You focus on the needs of others, especially team members, because uh, before you consider your own. Sabi nga. You acknowledge other people's perspective, give them the support they need to meet their work and personal goals, involve them in decisions where appropriate, and build a sense of community within your team. So yun nga sinasabi ko, the servant leader is not about the uh, your own because you are the you are the president or you are the you are the part of the officers, not not like that. Uh, you think first, the others. You, you always think. Because when you are run for the position, you will think, uh, you will think the, the, pers the, the perspective of the people first. Uh, you know, um, to the, especially to the team members. Yung mga members, officers, yun nga yung sinasabi kong relation, to build relationships to your members. So, servant leadership. Remember that servant leadership is about focusing on other people's need, not their feelings. Don't avoid making unpopular decisions or giving team members negative feedback when this is needed. Yun. So, ito pa yung mga, uh, mga characteristics or part of characteristics. A leader. A leader should be trustworthy kapag kakatiwalaan. So, that is the one. A leader is not a position. Yun nga yung sinasabi ko. is not any position but is an act of action. Kailangan gumagawa tayong lahat. Uh, kasi because you are a leader, it means you are you are not a uh, uh, you are a pain most but you know uh, don't mind the position because you you are run for the position but because you want to uh, you want to work you want to help the society yeah a leader should represent God in their decisions so mirror represent mo yung God so kasi if you are not consider God in your decisions, maybe your your decision uh, uh, will get failed. So you need to have God with your uh, decisions. So ilahan uh, mag pray ka talaga. Pinagpe pray mo yung uh, mga nagiging decision mo kung ito ba itama. Binabalance mo kung tama ba siya o mali before you decide what's going. Uh, to do with your organization, with your company or organizations. And also, <clears throat> because you are a leader, don't judge. Don't judge a book by its cover. So, don't judge a book by its cover. Yun po yung sinasabi na uh, sa unang tingin mo palang, ijajudge mo na siya kaagad. So, uh, you know, um, parang ano naman yon parang hindi mo pa nakikita yung 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 dahilan what is their purpose because everyone uh, every happens here what will happen here in in 
this world is have a purpose. Always remember that because Jesus, the God, is always do and then uh, always think that have a purpose. Always. Okay? So, don't judge a book by its cover. Ganun din sa tao. Huwag tayong manghuhusga agad. Huwag tayo agad uh, uh, magsasabi kung ito pa ay wala pang uh, sapat na kadahilanan, katibayan. So, don't judge by, uh, don't judge a book by its cover. Okay? So, uh, meron akong verse. Ito, uh, ito ay verse being a former uh, SSG representative, SSG grade 10 representative ng uh, General Emilio Aguinaldo National High School noong last 2018. So, 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. So, ito yung aming uh, uh, pinaka-verse being SSG. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Sabi doon, don't let anyone look down on you. Huwag mo raw hayaan na uh, ang mga ang mga na kabataan, ang mga ang mga tao sa iyo ay uh, you know, because you are a leader, syempre you, you feel so high, you feel so uh, mas mataas ka sa kanila. So, yung mga ang gagawin ng mga tao, syempre parang uh, uh, ang tingin nila, uh, mababa sila, ganyan. So, don't tolerate in that. Because you are young. So, yun nga sinasabi, tayo ay mga young pa lang, tayo ay mga kabataan pa lang din. So, but, dahil tayo ay leader, but set an example for the believers sa mga naniniwala sa pagsasalita, ayan, yung ating mga, uh, yung pagsasalita in speech in conduct yung uh, sa pamamahagi yung, yung pagbibigay ng mabuting uh, uh, halimbawa sa iba yung pagmamahal yung pagkikare niya sa kanila <coughs> and in faith in purity <coughs> uh, huwag din mawawala talaga sabi nga God si God sa lahat ng pagkakataon God is the only way to have a good and successful uh, mission in your life. So, mga kabataan, mga leader, huwag niyong kakalimutan ng God sa inyong mga sarili. Okay? So, leadership. So, ayan. Punta tayo. The leadership. The real essence. What is the real essence of being a leader? The real essence of leadership is having faith that you and the whole members of your organization and your co-students will grow together as we achieve and maintain your main goals. So, yun. Ano ang naintindihan nyo doon? Ang real essence daw ng ating uh, pagiging leader ay meron tayong pananampalataya sa Diyos yun nga, dahil nga nagre-represent na natin si God sa ating mga sarili, sa mga decision natin. So, kailangan ang, ang buong members nyo sa organization, kailangan ganun din. Kailangan uh, iisa lang ang inyong uh, uh, paniniwala para magawa nyo ng tama ang mga uh, gagawin nyo mga projects, proyekto na magiging successful dahil lagi yung uh, sinasama si God sa inyong mga uh, layunin para mapaganda, mapaayos ang ating society, ang ating mga schools, lalo na being a leader, being a student leader. So, para ma-maintain yung ating main goals. So, ayan. Thank you for your listening ang uh, kapwa ko uh, estudyante din. So, uh, being a student leader, sabi nga, sabi ni uh, Mayor Isko Moreno, walang nagsisimula na magaling agad. 
humble yourself and do it step by step. Trust the process. Yon. So, walang nagsisimula talaga sa madali, sa magaling agad. So, humble yourself and do it by your uh, step by step. Okay? So, ayun. Mani man magtiwala lang tayo na para lang talaga tayo uh, nasa isang baitang palamag at papanik tayo ng papanik. Ganun. So, ganun ang buhay. Every struggling block is a stepping stone to success. Maraming salamat po ang inyo pong speaker, former grade 10 representative of General Emilio Aguinaldo National High School uh, taong 2018. Ayan. So, uh, maraming salamat po sa pagbibigay ko sa akin ng oportunidad upang maging speaker ninyo. Maraming salamat po. Thank you.